disappointment echoed by Providence Mayor Brett Smiley and the city school board president after learning the city schools will continue under state control for three more years. We first brought you the decision from Education Commissioner Angelica Infante Green as breaking news at six and when a state panel unanimously approved her recommendation just minutes later. Now earlier this month, Ride released two reports to help guide Infante Green to her recommendation. She said while the reports showed progress, she didn't want the district to backslide. The progress we have made can be easily reversed if we do not ensure the proper systems and structures are in place for long-term success. And when I say we, I mean all of us collectively, because it has been clear that Ride does not intend, and I, I, I want to repeat that, does not intend to keep the district forever. We share the common goal with the City of Providence and the School Board of one day returning the district to local control. Well, we don't want it to backslide. At this critical point, we cannot afford to be complacent and, and complacent and return to the ways of the past. New tonight, Providence School Board President Erlen Rogel is condemning the move, saying in part, quote, the council's decision to extend the intervention in Providence beyond two years is disappointing. My hope is that we use this interim period to responsibly prepare for the return of our district to local control. Mayor Brett Smiley and Providence City Council President Rachel Miller echoed that disappointment in a joint statement posted on X, reading in part, quote, we will continue with our plan and hope the commissioner and the K-12 council will see our progress and consider advancing the timeline in the months ahead.